quote, Evil is a disregard for people and humanity and a lack of empathy. Oops, just described God, end quote. Ouch. All righty. Atheism versus Christianity. The great debate continues here today on Answering Atheism, episode 112. I am your host, your lovely, beautiful, handsome host, Christian guy for you. I like atheists, but I really like, well, love, militant atheists. So, um, I got some notes on this one as well, pre-made, but I think I'm going to try and just wing it, and then we'll check out the notes. <clears throat> Evil is a disregard for people and humanity and a lack of empathy. Oops, just described God. I don't think that was a smart move. I don't think that was a smart thing to say. I don't think that'll do him any favors. On what basis... On what basis is a disregard for people, humanity, lack of empathy a bad thing? Why is that a bad thing? You, you'd probably see that in nature all the time. Nature doesn't, nature doesn't care. Different animals don't care. On what basis is it a bad thing? Objective moral basis. Why is it a bad thing? Instead of subjective personal preference. mentions evil. He just borrowed Christianity, the Christian concept. Christian absolute um, standard of good to know that which is evil. And evil, good evil actions, there are, they can be, you might see it play out some sort of manifestation, but they can be of the heart and hidden in secret. And so this good and evil stuff is immaterial. And he's atheist. So he just left materialism and his atheism and opened the door for God to exist, God being immaterial, um, God being not of nature, but behind nature, the author of nature being above and beyond nature, aka the supernatural, the the uncaused first cause of nature, being outside time, space, matter, bringing them about. <clears throat> and we talked about this 
kind of stuff in the last two videos. We, we mentioned it, I think, both times. On the evolution or atheism side, you got going going from nothing to nothing, and nature is just nature. Man is just um, dirt, stardust, chemicals mere animals. We're mere animals. <laughs> and yet we wear clothes. What weird animals is that? <laughs> um, some people dress up their animals. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go off track with our mind now. But if man is mere animal, then then it's just the rule of the jungle, if you will. The strongest or luckiest survives and gets to wipe out the rest. And the media is actually pushing for that kind of garbage. They're pushing for population reduction. Nothing dangerous at all if the majority eventually believe that. Gotta save the planet. Gotta save nature. Deify nature in, in, a, in a way. Oh, oh, oh. Overvalue it in terms of devaluing the life of man. If man is mere animal. So it, it, it's honestly very important. Then on the Christianity side of things, you have it where I've heard it called like spark of divinity. Man, another created being like the rest of the animals, but made unique, distinct, in contrast from the rest of them. Um being made in the image of God. So there's where we have an absolute value placed upon human life and where we ought to and always fail, <laughs> almost always, most of the time, probably best of us some of the time, fail to reflect that image of God, but where we, it's, it's, it's where and how we ought to, ought to, respect one another where we ought to care and love for one another have empathy, sympathy and it's all reflecting God it's all reflecting God God's nature, his attributes, his, his being, his virtues, whatever you want to call it. I'd, I'd really like to talk to this individual because if he actually applied this To the abortion topic, I think his fellow atheists would just would 
really pick a verbal fight with him. Evil is a disregard for people, let's say the unborn. A disregard for people, humanity, and a lack of empathy. But instead, he's going after God. He's attacking the, the standard of good. the universal, transcendent standard of good for why something is wrong, not just in one time, in one place, and different factors like that. But the abortion stuff, people get labeled as not people and wiped out. World War II. What could go wrong? American slavery. What could go wrong? And for this particular individual, I got Isaiah 520 in my notes here. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The interesting thing is, one of the biggest complaints you see is atheists critiquing God in the Old Testament. Being the bringer of justice using against the the army of Israel, the Jews, and wiping out these people groups inhabiting a certain area. So the thing is, they were given a time frame and did not fix their garbage. So, God brought about justice. They were sacrificing kids on molten statues, and America sacrifices kids today, babies. What do we deserve? What does America deserve? I don't want what we deserve. I want grace and mercy. But anyhow, let, let's end off here, I guess. Um, Carl Sagan, somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. Gospel message, Romans 3.23, for all of sin and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23, uh, 5.8, but God demonstrates his own love towards us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10.9, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is the Lord. You believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 5.1 Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> About to be interrupted, so I kind of had to cluster rush here. Um, 
But yeah, he's presupposing Christianity to demonize God. No evil in atheism. Um, pretty interesting. Luke seventeen twenty six through twenty eight, and then, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming. So shall it also be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered in the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Second judgment by fire coming, and California be burning, and America rests upon a molten lake. So, what does America deserve? for murdering millions and millions and millions of babies among many other issues now that's just one so anyhow guess we'll call that pretty good. <laughs> Feels kind of like a weird end off. I had to cluster rush because I, I was about to get interrupted. Or at least so I feared. So. Anyhow, anyhow. Yeah, what does America deserve? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I want us to have the grace and mercy. I don't want us to have what America deserves. Um, but nonetheless, pretty decent topic. Um, and I think I'm off course enough that we should probably we should probably end off. So. Um, I think we'll pick out three more topics for next time, and we'll see how that goes. So, so we're like a an eighth to the way to two hundred already in four sessions of three. I think so. That's pretty good, pretty good. So, I guess thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Next time on AA, episode 113. I will see you ahead. As always, take her cool. And I hope we didn't miss anything important on this one. We kind of cluster rushed there. At the end, I thought I was going to get interrupted, but I guess we're okay. <laughs> so, it is what it is. We, we did our best, so. Take her cool.